Hey guys, what's up? It's Reno, and this is going to be a new skiller guide to doing tree run. In this video, I'm going to be going over inventory, locations, requirements, and what trees you should be using. Now to start off, the basics of a tree run. A tree run is basically taking five of your uh, best fruit trees and five of your best regular trees that you can do. They don't necessarily have to be your best, but I recommend doing the better ones. Um, the ones that I do, which are kind of mid-price, mid-XP gain, are papayas and maples. They're pretty good. Now, for people who are lower level and can't exactly do the trees that I'm doing, uh, or don't have the money to, another alternative is doing willow trees and... Let's see if I can find it. Willow trees and pineapple trees are fairly cheap. They don't cost very much. The seeds for this cost like under K and the pineapple ones cost like 5K and they give you a decent amount of XP. So if you're looking for cheap and decent for lower levels, those are probably your best bet. Now this is the inventory that I bring. I have my five fruit trees, my items to protect the fruit trees, if you're doing cheaper trees such as willows and pineapple, you might just want to use um, the super compost to protect it. In that case, replace it with five super compost. My regular trees, the things to protect the regular trees, once again, if you're doing willow or cheaper, you might as well just use super compost because I think uh, some of the cheaper trees have expensive requirements which make it not worth it. Um, a juju teleport spirit bag, which you can just pick up from the GE. Tele two, two teleports to Falador, one teleport to Varrock, one teleport to Lumbridge, a games necklace with at least, you know, it can have any amount of charges, you're only going to need it once, a dragon hatchet, this can be any hatchet, um, it's just to cut down the fruit tree once you uh, farm it, and you're going to want to have a ring of dueling equipped or in your inventory, either or, but I just like to keep it equipped. Now this is how I start my tree runs. I start by doing Lumbridge, once at Lumbridge, run behind the castle, like so. Also you might be interested in bringing one or two agility, po or, not agility, uh, energy potions, which could speed it up. Then you just, for people who don't know, you just check the health on your tree pay the farmer and she'll get rid of your tree use your tree on it and then if you're paying to protect it you just follow up like so okay now to the next now teleport to Varrock run east I'm just gonna grab a quick energy potion out of the bank Now you run down to east of the Varrock Castle by the ivy spots. Once here, repeat the process. Once you're done that, teleport to Falador. Now you run east into the Falador Park. And now repeat the process. Now teleport to Falador again, and run north. Next thing you're going to want to do is run up, oh, stupid glitch, I hate that. It only happens when you rec when you uh, play in fixed screen. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to want to run up to Taverly up here. Twice, wow. And then you run down to this tree patch right here. And repeat. Next, you're going to want to rub your games necklace and teleport to Barbarian Outpost. Sorry, someone in my clan just got 99 agility. Now, I'm going to keep recording the whole time for this one because this could be a little bit confusing. And I'll stay facing north just so you guys can see which way I'm running. Now, you run onto the docks. And as a skiller, since we haven't done 
um, the barbarian training to get into the uh, whirlpool. We click on the whirlpool and we dive right in and then we will wash up at the shore down here and now keep running down across here across the bridge and you'll be right at Trinome Stronghold just keep running through here and now once you're at Trino Stronghold you just enter I think you have to do a little mini thing here to get in but um, if you haven't done that before you probably wouldn't be doing this so most of you would probably know how to get into Trino and then here you can just do this again Next, don't tell me anywhere. Run north and then east along the path up here, north of the uh, Tree Gnome Agility Arena, and you check your first fruit tree. Now, when you're doing a fruit tree, what you want to do is you want to check the health, then you can spam click on this to pick the fruit faster, then it picks six fruit. This is where your hatchet comes in handy. It cuts down the tree fairly quickly. Clear it. Put your new tree in and either super compost or pay for your tree. Now, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your lodestone and teleport to Cather Bay. Once you teleport to the Cather Bay lodestone, head east. along the fishing spots. There's a musician here so if you weren't using energy pots and need run you could go there and then you just repeat the same process. Once your inventory starts being filled up with the certain fruits that you're farming right click on them and use on the tool leprechaun and he will note them. Next thing you're going to want to do is continue to run west across here by the bank and then run south onto the docks once here travel on the charter charter to Brimhaven it'll cost you a little bit of GP 480 gold it's not very much so you should just keep a little bit of cash in your cash stack if you're the kind of person who likes keeping it in their bank then just have a little bit of gold in your cash stack or even in your inventory it doesn't matter and then run south and right here there's a fruit tree I almost said papaya but that's only what I'm farming you might be doing something different then you're gonna wanna do the same thing again when you're here be careful to look out for snakes as they are aggressive to you next thing you're gonna wanna do is teleport with your juju spirit teleport bag or whatever it's called and it will take you to the herblore habitat area you're going to want to run south and there is also a fruit tree patch right here but there's one little trick with this patch um, here I'll show you really quick it's very easy to accidentally not pay this person here the zombie farmer um, it's very easy to accidentally not pay him the stuff to protect the tree so when you do this and you say he asks you to give it to him then you say it's a deal and it doesn't take them right away so make sure you finish this chat and it goes to this line here when he says er good me look after patch now then it's actually protecting you if you don't go through the chat then it won't actually protect it now for the last part you're gonna wanna go to castle wars with your ring of Doolin. and this one is a little bit tricky so I'm gonna stay recording the whole time you're gonna to wanna to run south and then east 
then you're going to want to head up north. Now you're going to have to be careful here because you're going to have to run past um, some ogres, so you don't want to get attacked by them as they can easily hit you as a skiller because they're aggressive. There's also some uh, bears along the way, I believe there should be, right up here. Yep, there's a bear over there. See, look, it's being aggressive to me. Just be careful with this. And then here's your last fruit tree patch. And then you repeat the process one more time. Okay, everybody, that's been my tree farming guide. I hope this has helped you. And um, for anybody who's looking for more skiller guides and things like that, um, just keep uh, subscribe and keep watching. Like the video, please. Um, if you enjoyed, if not, you can thumbs it down. Just let me know um, if this helped you. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the bottom. And one question that I know is asked a lot with farming is how many times can you do these tree runs a day? And it very, it very much varies because each tree um, has a different duration on how long it takes to grow. So basically, if you want to find out how long it takes to grow, you can just go to Rune, RuneScape Wiki and search the tree name that you're doing, and it will tell you exactly how long it takes for it to grow. If, like I said, if you have any other questions, uh, just leave them below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.